Hi. Good afternoon. I'm Michelle Cooper and I'm going to demonstrate something fun for you today. I'm giving people time to join in. Last time that I was on Periscope I demonstrated the six stroke figure and they looked kind of like this. You saw those last time, right? So this time I'm going to show you how not just to do an unusual method. Oh, thank you, Laura. Appreciate that. I'm not going to show you just an unusual meth uh, method. Or what am I trying to say? Aloha. I'm going to um, show you how to use a different material to do kind of a cityscape. I think sometimes we feel a little bit uh, scared about drawing and the way to get over that is just to go do it. This is one of my urban sketchbooks. I'm one of the Seattle urban sketchers so I did this in Pioneer Square last August with a group of sketchers and this would be kind of the traditional look of a watercolor sketch with a little bit of line work if you're going to do it with a pen and ink. Most of the time I would be doing that with a micron pen then, and then watercolor over it. But today I'm going to show you a different way. There is an online um, website that is called Virtual Paint Out. And every month they go to a different, uh, virtually as a group, they go to a different um, place in the world for the whole month and then you can use the little peg man on Google Maps to travel wherever you like. Well, if you go on Virtual Paint Out, Bill Guffey is the guy who um, hosts that. He'll choose the place for the month. So this month it's in uh, Mallorca. But the one that I did in this picture that you see now, the uh, sketchbook here, that was in Bangladesh. Yes, a virtual vacation <laughs> from the comfort of your studio. And it's really fun. So see the method, see how this looks very, very dark, the darks on there? That I painted with this India ink and with this, a twig. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. But first, I have to get my ink out of the way here. have to put my paper up. I am a, uh, an urban sketcher, by the way. And I blog to the Seattle Urban Sketchers um, website, or their blog. So here I got this. It's pruning time anyway, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to cut my twig in half. And it's up to you what kind of a slant you want to do with it. But if you use your clippers, you can cut yourself any number of twigs, any kind of wood. But it usually works out best if you use dry wood when you're finally going to use it for your ink drawing. So here's all your materials. And your ink and a twig. Well, and some watercolor paper, of course. I like watercolor paper that has a bit of tooth in it. So I'm using um, Waterford Saunders Waterford watercolor paper. And um, we're getting a new... Well, we got a new streetcar in um, Seattle just recently, and this weekend there's going to be a big celebration about it. Um, it's going to coincide with the Lunar New Year. The new um, streetcar goes up Capitol Hill, up the hill from um, like Pike Place Market, I think. No, uh, Pioneer Square to 10 different stops up First Hill. And it's going to be so cool. I'm just drawing a, form, a frame there so I can make sure that I do my twig in the right place here. All right. Then I have my India ink and my twig. Where am I? Here, here I go. Yes! you got to go see it. If you're in the Seattle area, all the rides are free on that streetcar all the way through President's Day. And then you have to get an ORCA card 
or I think that's how you have to be able to, to do it. So this is India ink. So it's waterproof and it's, um, it, you know, you can put your watercolor over it. I got to figure out where I'm going to put the streetcar here. So I'm just going to do a pretty easy view since I'm on Periscope and I'm making sure that I don't make too many mistakes. <laughs> so yes, so I hashtag uh, do it for the process and then I worry about making mistakes. <laughs> That's not the point, is it? Okay, so, well, the front of a streetcar is real easy because it's just the, just a, a square, kind of. And then it's got this side mirror in here. And that's going to be rather dark. And then I've got some, you know, those little frames that go up into the, into the wires here. It goes like that. I think one of the main mistakes that people make when they're doing this, when they're trying to draw with a, a twig, is they're trying to get something, some ink out of it or something. I don't know, but don't press hard. Just, just do a normal pressing. You know, this is the street here. Okay, and it's raining today, so if I, if there's room on this, I think I'll make some reflections happening on the street. Here's the, here's the tracks. Fun. This is the other part of that section there. And then there's a car, car coming back here. Whoops. Gotta get this better. Let's do a little bit for the distant car here. <laughs> That's really wonky. I'll fix it later. Alright. Looks like it's a little bug looking at me. Alright, now let's put this street on. I mean, the, the buildings on the street, so there's lots of buildings happening over here, behind here. And then as you run out of ink, you can make it look lighter than there, and then coming down here, turn your twig over, see how it goes. That's fun. Now there's a guy online who's just amazing. He's on Instagram, too. So on my Instagram, I'm going to put... I will put his his handle. Um, everybody calls him KK because I think it's too hard to pronounce his name. So if you go to my Instagram later on today, I'll, I'll post where I understood about doing this. Only he is a hundred million times better because he's the guy who really pioneered this. Now I'm not saying that he did it before I did because he didn't. I've been telling my students for a long time that we can we can paint with a stick and a berry if we need to. So not to worry if you don't have really good materials. And this just kind of proves that a bottle of India ink and a twig from the garden, which works out just nicely for us now because it's pruning season anyway. Don't you think we should put a six stroke figure in here? Well, how about a two stroke figure? Yeah, put that person in there like that. There we go. Now, let's see what else can I put in here. Oh, more buildings in the distance. Isn't that going to be fun, though, this weekend when they have the lion dance and the parade and everything up at First Hill in the International District, and they're going to celebrate the opening of the new streetcar. Now, I don't get to, to ride the streetcars very often in Seattle because it doesn't work out the best for me. But I th on a weekend or when we have visitors, it's always a fun thing to do. And one of the characteristics I've noticed is they all have a different color. So I mean to ask somebody, is there anybody on here that rides them? What, is, what do the different colors mean? Does that just mean the different routes? If you're from the Seattle area, maybe you can tell us. Okay, let's get this. That's going to be something else over there. Okay, then the uh, frame of the window. Do you like this? So look at how fast and easy you can make a rather complicated subject not be quite so complicated. Just the drawing part with India ink and um, a twig. And I happened to let the thicker part of that dry, but I think I could probably give it a go here and see about getting some color in now. Some watercolor, just using regular watercolor now. 
Like I said, it's raining today, so if I can get it to look like wet streets, then all the better. There's a uh, blue garbage can here. And here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. Now, if you saw my uh, my um, post on, on my um, YouTube, YouTube channel, <laughs> that was so funny because I, I didn't capture it in time on Twitter so that I could uh, show the comments and the hearts and everything. So here I am on YouTube with my many invisible friends <laughs> just talking away. <laughs> and you can't you can't see the hearts and you can't see the comments. So I'm trying this new setting to see if I can get it on catch. Somebody on Instagram told me about that. They said you can get it on catch. <laughs> yes, I'm just talking to myself there on YouTube. So the normal YouTube people aren't going to even understand that hardly at all. But we know, we know what we're doing here. Okay, see that ink is pretty much dry now. And the new, um, the new streetcar is red. That's pretty perfect, isn't it, for Capitol Hill and the International District and the Lunar New Year and all that. So I'm just putting some paint in there. And this looks, are you an invisible friend? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, you're not invisible to me. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. I saw yours recently. Really nice. Kathleen was doing some ink and watercolor, too. Have you ever used a stick? <laughs> Fun. So I'm just putting in these colors now. I don't, I don't know what it looks like on your screen, but mine aren't coming out as vivid on the... Um, on, on uh, the periscope screen to me, as mine are on my on my own iPad. Sticks are handy, yes. That meant a whole different thing in my dad's generation if they said go out and cut a stick. Okay. Oh, that's just too dark. I'm gonna have to get some of that off of there. Let's see. A paper towel. Take this off. You can blot things off if you go right away. Yeah, ouch. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. Now, when I'm painting on location, I usually use a water brush. But right now, I'm in my studio, so I can have the comforts of a nice sable brush, too. Yes, time to commute. You'll be listening and maybe watching. Okay, Judy. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was better at that commuting. And I will get better at it. Okay, so let's put this pavement in here. Like I said, it's raining today, so I want to show that to a certain point. Put a little reflection in here like this. There we go. And so let's see a little bit of the reflection of my, my blue thing here. Get some, some watery looking stuff going on back here. This over here like this. See how brief you can be once you've got um, quite a nice sort of established color going on with with your ink, and there's not much for you to have to do with um, with the watercolor. I do. I'm trying though. I don't want to make it look like it's cut out, pasted on, or like it's colored in either. I want to give it kind of the feel of it. Purple's fun. <laughs> you know, we have a purple streetcar too. Yes. Purple one, a green one, a yellow one. All kinds of wonderful stuff. Let's see. Uh, the Se Seattle gray sky. Ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. The handiest colors you ever had in the Northwest. Okay, so let's go like this. <laughs> oh, thank you, Margot. Thank you so much. I can use the encouragement. Okay, raining, raining, raining. Yeah, leaving white paper, white paper, I think, is one of the most important things you could ever do in watercolor. Really important. Put something in here. Put something in here. I'm trying to stay away from that wet ink there. 
very really wet ink. Now let's see, a little bit of blue. Let's go blue right here. Oof, that's good. A little reflection and orange, a little bit of orange happening here. Okay. Oops. Still wet. That's the thing, you can't just stop and let the paint dry, can you? Get some more of this here. Oh, great, you guys. Thank you for the hearts. Now, let's see. We want to get this darker over here, so we make these into the building shapes behind the trees. It's just a cityscape here. Got these two-stroke ink person, so somebody's bound to be wearing red just because it's nice, so we'll put this little six-stroke-like person. they got a hood on. It's raining. Let's give them some jeans. We're always wearing our jeans in Seattle. It isn't Birkenstock and socks weather yet, so... Yes, six-stroke people. <laughs> Did you do yours yet, Kathleen? Okay, let's put a little car back here. Sadly, no. <laughs> well, I expect to see him when we got them done, though. Let's put a cab over here instead. Okay. <laughs> Burks and Stocks weather. Well, of course. Oh, if they look like the right kind of blobs, though, that's what we're looking for, see? So that's fine. You got your new sticks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? Pruning weather. Try to make this into a like a cab here. Just gotta smear it a little bit more. Bigger. There we go. That's better. Maybe it's a four-stroke cab. Okay, then let's get this reflection down. Wet streets. Let's see, what can I put over here? Oh, some some kind of goldy color or something. So this isn't quite too horrible. There we go. Ooh, there goes the ink. Now, I would say for you, if you're not used to working with this, don't periscope while it's wet. <laughs> and then um, put some, uh, you know, let the paint, let the ink dry first before you go, before you start doing stuff here. And just balance out the colors a little bit. Let's put this down here like this. Uh, some darks. Let's see, more purple. Got to have some purple over here just to balance it. Okay, and maybe a little building in the back, right back here like that. And that's pretty rudimentary, but I think you get the idea. So, so look at how quickly you can do that. You can make a very quick cityscape, very quick study. Um, later on, you can come back with a, uh, you know, a pen, a, a white pen or whatever you want to use. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then I'll show you uh, the one that I did. Let's see, it's more like KK's one. His, his is like this. His is more like this. He uses this unusual, just a stick, a two-stroke per person, yes. Yes, the economy model. <laughs> so here's Manila. It's a train station in Manila. And you see one of these little two-stroke people here, another one there. And a couple more people over here. See, so they all fit into your landscape. Doesn't have to be much. We're people, so we, we recognize that. Anyway, so that's with that's my my ink, uh, India ink, and twig painting with watercolor. There you go. So I'm done. I don't know how long that took. I hope it didn't take too long. <laughs> I hope you guys had some fun watching it. And then I hope you get a, give it a try, too. All right? Thank you, guys. Thank you so very much. I hope you have a lovely afternoon. <laughs> Twig love. <laughs> I like that. Have a great evening, you guys. More like this. Okay. I'll try to do this every Thursday, if possible. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Mary.
Thank you very, very much, everybody. If you have any questions, I should have asked you if you had any questions. If you came in late, you can watch the replay. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Say goodbye now. Bye.